just for politeness. Hello, is anybody here? Hmm? Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Marshy. Nice to see you. Is it nice to see you as well? Um, I haven't seen you around Haven. Oh, I've been working here recently. Doing research and stuff. Uh, this is the research center, by the way. That is true. I do need to um, check on anything. Is there anything... Uh, well, I did have this thing. I kind of wanted to see if you knew anything about this. These three. Oh. Totem of Undying Soul Energy Experience Essence. What are these? Basically... Um, long story short, this place used to be a hideaway for a bunch of villagers. Uh, what were they called again? Villagers. Yeah, there we go. That one. And we basically eradicated them all and converted their base into the research center now. So, yeah, that's what we found in the ruins. Isn't that right, Lee? That is exactly. So this totem can prevent death? Theoretically? Apparent. Theoretically, apparently. It is said to be a gift from one of the gods. And I was here to see if we could do some more experimentation. Can I actually have those? Oh, yeah. Back. Sorry. I would like to check something before we do. Before we do get started on this, though, um, is there anything new that you wanted to show me? Um, we have been Project working Genesis. On... Yeah, I was just about to mention that. We've actually oh, okay. set up a, a place for it up here. Uh, oops, this way. It's all the way in the back, so it'll be a bit. It's a hmm. little of a walk. It's fine. This place is really big, though. Lots and lots of stuff oh, to do here. Ah, uh, yes. Right here. Hmm. Project Genesis. Ah, let's check this out first before we go into that. This is all of the evidence that we've gotten so far about whatever this is. Hmm. Wait a minute. Let's re save our legacy. Did anybody Wait, figure that? Do not return to Jericho. I repeat, do not return to Jericho. Things have gone to hell. It's no longer safe. We should never touch the surface. Save our life. That's why I heard from. This is very ominous. But at the <laughs> same time, even I can't figure this out. <laughs> at least I know. Hmm. Horn map piece. Is it the, are these two the only ones? So far, it looks like. No one else has turned anything else in, so I'm not sure if anything has been found recently. Hmm. Torn documents. You know, I can vaguely read this. I wish we had the chemicals to do, to, you know, decipher the messages. Mm hmm. You should have never First. taken from these things. Ah oh, yeah, sorry that, but we don't exactly know which things there are. I think which I thing? know some things that are trying to kill us up. Could we be could be them. anything. We basically have almost anything trying to kill us. That's the things I was trying to refer to. I don't think it's the illagers since they're already, well, you know. They're dead. Yeah. They're... Hmm. Wish we still had the... Mm, this is broken. We can't get anything from that. All oh, the label says save our legacy. Mm -hmm. What legacy are they talking about, though? I'm not sure. I guess that's what we gotta find out. Hmm. Anyway, let me just read this book real quick. I like it? this 
get this. It's basically the book that you gave me. About the totem of a dying. Totem of a dying small compact with an item that contains properties of what's says essence smoking which is uh Zagreus, good old cousin. Well one day tell us their teachings have really progressed our cause. The leading theory states that experience essence can collect can somehow convert into soul energy. I wonder how this thing works though. Hmm. Let me just check the books real quick. I don't think you have to eat this thing, because this thing is wooden. That'd be yeah, stupid. It doesn't look like... Hmm. It's obviously not food. Unless you're supposed to eat wood? Is it like some kind of magic wood? I mean, if it prevents death, it's obviously magic. Prevents death? Oh yeah, there's death. edible shit you would not believe. Wait, prevents death? And one of the higher deities is the killing life forms. We do know is that these essence can be obtained by several different means. Killing life forms, mining, and smelting. Killing life forms. Scratch the... Killing life forms. Actually. Actually, Marshy, there is something. I have tried everything with this thing. I've tried... Tried studying it. Throwing it onto my feet. Thought it would work as the same way as the potions would. Doesn't. I have an idea. Let's go outside. Oh, okay. Well, no, I'm, not my... I'm just uh, hoping that it works. Mm -hmm. Because if it does, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have an upper edge. Mm -hmm. Upper edge? Oh, yeah, see, no. soon enough. I somewhat don't like this going, but can't argue. Come on. So, let's just make sure. Uh, probably in the wild. Let's go there. Yeah, this should be fine. Let me just make sure. Marshy. Ah. Oh. Ow. Apologies. Oh. Hold that real quick. Okay. Sp specifically in your left hand. Oh, okay. Specifically in your left hand. Ah, uh, okay. You might want to stand back for this. Just stand uh. right there. Whoa, what are you do? Ow! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. What, what was the... that for? <laughs> uh. And how are you not dead? Uh, okay, um... Oh. That felt what weird. The... But... I'm not. You're, you're not dead. You're not you're dead. Not dead. You're, 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 you're not dead. You're not dead. Ladies and gentlemen, um, the total of undying. Here. I'm actually fine. It healed me. Yeah. It, All the wounds. I shot her straight in the face too. Look at her face. No scars or anything. It's like nothing uh, happened. I feel boy, perfectly oh, fine. Oh. I, it is I, said I, that the totem of undying is to bring back people straight from the dead, as if nothing ever happened. That's from what I understood of it, of course. I, so by I, reading that, was this shit I thought, ever tested? Well, it never really say anything about. It did. It did say something about killing people, and that was one thing I never really tested: killing life forms. It never Keep really. Life forms. Yes, that's one thing I haven't really tested about the thought of a dying is basically shooting the person holding it. We are killing people, like you know, killing people who held it. So yeah. Huh. I, uh... Well, I'm glad it worked. <laughs> yes, it would have been quite. Know. It would have been quite unfortunate if you actually just died here. Yeah. But it all in the name of science. Oh, in the name of research. <laughs> mm. Make sure you check her psychologically. I feel like I probably have traumatized I... her a little bit. Physically, they look fine. I don't know. Mentally, that definitely will scar someone. Yeah, probably. First, being shot in the face like that. I literally shot her straight between the eyes. With a flame bow. Yeah, yeah. That, um... Hmm. Look, I just can't believe in myself. 
Yeah, it's an it's upper an... edge, isn't it? It's an upper edge that scares me. I had to sacrifice one of these. You should be thankful. I have two of them, but I had to sacrifice one of them for this, and I only have one. Oh, I don't have to worry about it getting murdered anytime soon, if that's the case of what it does. Oh. But Hopefully. it is fascinating. Yeah. It is what if that shit happy. never worked? We well, raided uh, villagers. How were we supposed to know this shit? Well, um, it would be unfortunate Unf if it didn't work. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, if it didn't work, I wouldn't be able to help. Sorry of course, to say. you're not a miracle winner. You're not a miracle okay. walker. I shot her between the eyes. Huh. She would have oh, been yeah. dead, dead without that thing. Oh, yeah. Oof. Reinsurance of thinking I could save you with something that. How did it feel, by the way? Well, I mean, like in the moment. It was weird. It went from really painful to, like, nothing till perfectly fine. Hmm. So it was like a mild blackout, then... You came back, basically. Not necessarily blackout, it's more like... I guess... Blurred? I do it's hard to explain how it what it felt like. Hmm. Well, I did shoot you between. That would have been an instant kill, but I had to shoot you twice. Yeah. yeah the, fir the first one hurt. But then it healed both wounds, which is the strange part. Hmm. Where's the totem it's now? It's gone. Well, it's gone. It's just gone? Mm hmm Yeah. So, so... A basic I understanding saw it, that like, we're... pop up and, like, poof away. Let's it get out of the rain. In front of your face and poofed away. Uh huh. It basically, I guess you could say that the totem of undying, instead of, you know how usual death counts. When you die, you die. You claim Thanatos comes taking your soul, leads you to the underworld. But in this case, I believe what happened was the totem, because of the fact that it's contained with soul essence, it probably took Marshy's place. So wait, like a, let's say substitution. Does it last? How long does it last? Do we know if it's permanent? Probably permanent. It's probably permanent. You're fine. It's like I said. Was this thing ever tested? I guess this probably was not. the test. This was the test. It's okay. It's in the name of research. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> name of research. <laughs> yes, in the name of research. <laughs> I would have tested it on myself, but you know, I can't exactly risk myself dying. Not when I still have the world to run. You both don't have a problem with this, I'm assuming. All right. They're meant for this. They're a lot more hardy than most people. Still can't believe the villagers actually took time. Took time. Zagreus. I might have to talk to him. He's the one who made these. Oh. He's the one who made them? Well, he gifted them, basically. It says something. Here, what page was that? We don't know how it fully works, but we're hoping that the being known as Zagreus will one day tell us their teachings have really progressed or caused. Though I might end up... And it says to prevent death. So that's basically what I thought of when I thought it was shooting Marshy. Okay, it's... so God's made the totem. Yep. Wait. Well, prevent, great. Prevent, death, can... prevent death. It's not... That's why I shot Marshy. That's God to create totems. That's that's fucking neat. Like, how was it supposed to prevent death? Like, I was expecting, like, maybe it would be, like, a shield or something, or... 
It would transform to something to prevent Marshies to die, but I did not expect her to get shot in the face and then come back. That is like, very, very... Not prevention, you... but resurrection. What? I was betting on it protecting the the person holding the thing. Wait, wait, That's wait, what wait, I was wait. betting on. What, yes. What's Zagreus again? Zagreus is the god of rebirth. I have exactly. a Oh, yeah. Zagreus. Exactly. God. God, rebirth. Tell him of undying. You come back from the dead. You're rebirth. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we need to talk to them. I'd like to know more about this thing. Personally, I want to know more about what, how it fucking works. Dying is one part, but how is it? <clears throat> Speak well, up if since... you have an opinion. Look, ever since we went to secure the, the mansion, I just had a lot of questions. And then ever since we raided this damn place, it just gave me more questions than answers. Everything's been just a 180 turn. Well, especially the Genesis project. That one we don't really know much about. All we know is that there were ruins of the old monuments in several places of the world. Almost to dust, by the way. Then we had these notes that were upstairs. I already noticed the end of the motherfucking world. Probably something like that. Though we're not entirely sure. If it was the end of the world, why are we here? Your guess is good. Like, how did we come to be? Hmm. Hmm. Well, well, when we do find more things, we can always just come back and bring them over there so we can start, you know, connecting the dots, hopefully. Not even I can connect the dots, and I'm Athena, for God's sake. Mm -hmm. yeah, At least I know I... where my power's limitations are. I already got it. Mm -hmm. well, anyways, Marshy. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your participation. Apologies if I had to, well, risk your life for the in the act of research, but, you know, knowledge is knowledge. Yep. Huh. Anyways, Lee, you should probably take these back. Either, actually... Um, who wants to keep a copy of these? I'll just think keep them either way. Maybe we could have a couple here. A copy? We should yeah, actually. Most likely here. store these here for Marsh our team. research on it. Yeah. It, all research needs to be kept safe. Mm -hmm. If anybody else would have, would have their hands on these, I don't know what might happen. Could mean they could find a way to exploit it in a exactly. worse way than the pillagers did. Exactly. I mean, nobody really ca like cares to visit me. Yes, but no one will really care to go into a high security facility, Lee. There's there's a bunch of justices guards outside there guarding the gate. Mm -hmm. So and I'm pretty this sure place this place has a place. bunch of security measures too. Yeah. It does. Yeah, that's true. What? Yes. Mm. Well, for what it's worth, it was a very progressive thing that we had today. Mm-hmm. <sighs> uh, I don't process quite. it, honestly. But, you know, at least it worked. Yes. It would have been... Like I said, it would have been unfortunate if I had to end up killing one of my own <laughs> to progress yeah. research. Mm -hmm. But I did have some sort of confidence that it would have not actually killed you. Which is why I tested it in the first place. I was going by a mere 50-50. Oh boy. Well, yeah. hmm. luck is on our side, I guess. Yes. That well, luck's gonna it... run out, either you like it or not. Well, well, Lee, would it be much of a game if uh, there were no obstacles now, would it? Yeah. 
Yeah, it would be a game. It was. <laughs> Games are more fun when there's challenges. I like to consider the Argus Insurgency. Apparently, that's their name. As a challenge. Speaking of Argus, after this, I need to speak to you, my queen. <laughs> hmm. Alright then. Well, Marshy, you do what you have to do. I'm pretty sure you're going to be fine. Physically, yeah. yeah. Don't know mentally. We'll see. I probably just need to process it a little. Just well, of course, you know, you just dealt with a sudden death blow to the head. Yep. And survived. Yep. More like put her on the. You are the first. Yeah, you are pretty much the first. Anyways, Luna. Hmm. Where would you like to speak? I don't really care. Well, Lee, don't... you can join us as well, since you are royal guard, and this does consist of that business. Keep a guard of the door. Make sure nobody comes in while we're while we're discussing. Mm -hmm. Lead the way. I haven't really been in here at all, but this is a safe ways away. Alright. So let's see. I read this one. Oops. The Totem of Undying is a small compact and wooden item that contains properties of both experience essence and soul energy, making them converge onto one purpose. Preventing death. We don't know it fully we don't know how it fully works, but we're hoping that it that we don't know how it fully works, but we're hoping that the being known as Zagreus will one day tell us. Your teachings have really, their teachings have really progressed our cause. Our leading theory states that the experience lessons we collect, we collect, can somehow be converted into soul energy, and this is what causes the totem to negate death. This is only just a theory. Okay. Experience essence. Experience essence is the ter. Experience Essence is the term given to the mysterious green glowing energy orbs that can be obtained when we go obtained all throughout this world. Although the origin of this essence has, is still unknown, we have confirmed with one of our connections, who has befriended one of the higher deities, that, this, that the essence is that of a godlike origin. However, further investigation is needed to confirm this. We do not know, however. What we do not know, what we do know, however, is that this essence can be obtained by several different means. Examples include killing life worms, mining certain re mining certain resources, smelting materials, breeding animals, fishing. This only scratches the surface. As, this only scratches the surface as, surface of what this essence can do. In fact, it is quite useful. One thing we've managed to do is condense it down into a medium-sized vial. That way we can store it for future use. Another thing we managed to learn is that is how it can be utilized in what we like to call enchanting. Harnessing this essence is not is not tricky at all. When obtained it will only it will simply become one with you. This has no effects on the body. No releasing it, however, has is no easy task. We managed to find a catalyst to transfer the essence to, to transfer the essence to. Further studies have shown that the stone known as blue stone serves as it serves this very purpose. Combine this all together and we can try, we can make some very interesting things. Swords can now be magically enhanced with this enchant yes, enhanced. Magically enhanced with this essence, making them sharper, more blunt this making them sharper more blunt the same works for other weapons the same works for other weapons tools and even armor books work as a good placeholder for the essence as well but i think most of the damn most of the damning thing we found so far is how the essence is tied to the totems we were taught how to produce by being known by the being known as zagreus 
Experience essence that is stored within the totem can convert into solar energy and can be used to prevent death itself. This is what happens. How this happens is still unknown. Zagreus refused to tell us. Perhaps it's a question for another day. And solar energy. Solar energy is, the for is another form for supernatural essence that surrounds us. Not much can be studied on it, as it is a little more complicated to obtain. From what we've studied, the main catalyst that stores this energy is a special kind of sand that can be only found in the underworld itself. The sand appears to be the sand appears to be sentient and is very dark in color. We've dubbed it soul sand. Something interesting to note, however, is the fact that this strange red plant we call netherwort can be grown on this sand. Whatever the case may be, this wart plant can be used for brewing potions, which is very useful. Testing on the sand has already begun, and we'll be sure to write it down. Write down what we find. Test log. We've discovered something. Something that's, well, huge, to say the least. While testing the sand, we discovered that the withered skeletons from the underworld are tied to the sand somehow. We first noticed this when we put three of their skulls on top of one some sand it it made something i don't know how to describe it it was giant it was a giant creature one that didn't hesitate to try to kill us along with any life that was near a few of us perished but after a long harsh battle we managed to take it down this creature however it had more to it it dropped a cat it dropped a crystal one in the shape of a star it's bright and very sh it's bright and very shiny on the in and very shiny on the inside. What is it? We don't know yet, but further studies are underway right now to find out what it is. Interesting.